Okay, uh, Fred the Sankwa here, industrial artisan, and a uh, very exciting day. We've just recently acquired a, um, a new piece in our collection. Now we do have um, considerable uh, American heavy steel there and there. Uh, we also have some Bulgarian, but now I'm a proud owner of some really good quality steel here. But it's not cutting anymore, so maybe we'll uh, reset it. Oh yeah, on closer inspection on that bit, I believe that we should be working the other direction. So I, I crank the piece over on the slide. So we got our workpiece right there, clamped in the vise, which is bolted to that, which is connected to the slide. The slide is advanced with this crank. This crank is ratcheted, so that's the crank, ratchet crank, and it's connected with this. We've got crank spinning. the cutting. Well now we're thinking here a little bit. So what I've done is I've turned my workpiece 90 degrees and uh, this is uh, increasing the speed considerably. Uh, so what's happening now is uh, we're going lengthwise. I was able to figure out the adjustment, the stroke adjustment. Okay, so spent a day working with the shaver. Which side is this? So this is the first side I was playing with. And I switched to the other side. Trying to get this here square. So this is going to be for my... Um, what are they called? Well, why can't I remember? It's called a study rest? Traveling rest. It's for the lathe, right? It's going to go sit on the bed of the lathe. There's going to be some bolts through here. It's going to go this way. And we're going to put a big round thing on here with three wheels. So this is the second one I did. I'm quite happy with how that turned out. It's pretty smooth. A little bit of sandpaper. And, and I would describe that as, as, a, as a relatively smooth surface. Um, of course, the big question here is, do things end up square? There's around 40. All in all, I'd say that's not bad. It's around 40 all the way around. 40. So it's flat. So I've made um, a piece of metal that is flat and parallel on two sides, which I've never done in my shop before. And it's all thanks 
to the English made tooling. Well, 